Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your girl V Henny, man. You already know the vibes. Welcome to the artistry where we talk shit about music, entertainment, and the everyday struggles. And you know how we do, man. We always have a dope guest in the building. We have the talented singer, songwriter, all the way from North Carolina. Michael! Bum, yes, bum, yes. Bum, bum. <laughs> I love the introduction. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey. well, thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Um, I want to say thank you for being here, for your time. Yes. Um, you know, before we dive into anything, um, I always do a toast. Okay. Especially how much you've been accomplishing. You okay. know, you, you from your... Your, your first EP to your merch to your first album, you know, like just everything. So, yeah. you know, congratulations on all your success and Tough let's keep stuff. it going. Let's yes, do this, you know? Yeah. Mm. That's, that's really bad. good. Yeah, that's not bad that's at all. That's really good. Wow. You see, I'll be making some shit up and boom. <laughs> yeah. And you sell that right there. <laughs> okay. Nah, but um, welcome. I think you said this was your first time in New York as an adult. Yes. How how have we been treating you? Uh, New York is definitely full of energy and uh, diversity. That's what I would say. Okay. Yeah, yes. Very, very diverse. Okay. You know, I almost got hit a couple times by cars, you know, but <laughs> in, the, in the bus. But it's okay. Yeah, you eventually, through it, as you keep coming out here, you eventually learn how to bob and weave, you yeah, know, nah, and, you yeah, know, like... Yeah. So we grew. I grew up to dodgeball and stuff like that. So like I know how to. <laughs> see the legs go. <laughs> yeah, you know, like. But that's dope. That's dope. I know. I'm sure it's completely different compared to you yeah. know where you're from. Yes. I definitely wanted to tap into like just your creativity. Um, first I want to start. I want to know what inspired you to get into music. Uh, me skipping school, high school and stuff okay. like that. My older brother was already doing it, so. You know, just going to his house, he'll be like, man, let's just do this. Let's record or something like that. He had the whole setup and stuff. Okay. So, you know, just recorded with him. I was like, man, I kind of like this. You okay. Know? Uh, how old were you, more or less? Um, I was about like... Because you said skipping school, but you didn't say like middle school, high school? Nah, nah. It was, it was, it was high school. I was, okay, I was okay. like, I had to be like a sophomore high school. I wasn't okay. like serious or nothing. I just kind of like the process of like being around him making beats. Okay, stuff okay. Stuff like that. And then, you know, a lot of my friends and peers, you know, kind of on the same thing. Like Okay. More or less, when would you say you started taking it seriously? I, when I dropped my first song in, like, 2019. 2019? Yeah. How was that? That was pretty cool. I was already doing shows before. Okay. So, like, the song that I put out, and I was already singing it around the city, so people already knew it. And uh, after that, it was kind of weird because the pandemic happened. It's so, like... Yeah. Yeah. So everybody was in the house, man. So I was like, "Wow." Were you okay. at home? Like, did it affect you like that too? Like, you know, because I know like a le- Georgia was open. Yeah. So North, I don't know how North Carolina was. They had, you know, of course, everybody had to deal with the COVID rules and regulations. Right, but North right. Carolina's a pretty open state, so okay, people were still outside. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. we were still outside. Right. Right. Man. Yeah, because no, out here it was super like strict. Mm. So. I remember traveling with like other artists and we was going down south a lot. Yeah. You guys again, you guys were technically closed, but everybody was outside. Come so on, you know, yeah, like yeah. I do yeah. love um with the South how <clears throat> supportive it can you know, you guys can be. Do you feel like that's accurate because you're out there and I'm the outside looking in in a sense? It's I think it's ever especially if it's in a, if it's in a competitive you know, industry. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, but the most love I ever got was from up north. My, my first time coming up here. Okay. I did a show, and the club owner actually came up and hugged me after. Really? Yeah. It was, That's dope. I was like, it's crazy. Apparently, you won a few showcases. Yeah. Re- how many showcases, more or less? Um, I can't put a number on. I don't mm, know. Damn, like I be, that? Yeah, okay. I be, you. I be doing a lot of. Oh, you be man. Da- I see you. I see some of your videos. You be dancing <laughs> on. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when it comes to your process, as far as like your performances, right? Like, what's that like? Are you practicing? What are you doing? Uh, you kind of just play it by ear. Kinda okay. Treat it like a date. Well, you don't really know what's gonna happen, mm. but you just kind of like wing it out. Okay. And then, like, you never know if it's gonna be more females or guys at the show. So, right. Like, if it's more guys, I'm not going to do, like, what I would do if it's more females. Right. Episode. I mean, yeah. I, yeah I, I'm, you, know, you know. Yeah. So, you know, just kind of got to play it by ear. 
more or less, when you first started making music, can you say you first started writing music as well, or eventually that came throughout time? Nah, I first started writing. You started writing? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what's your writing process like? Like, a long car ride. Okay. Yeah, usually, like, when I'm on a highway or something, that's when I, like, become the most creative. Or, like, if I wake up super early. Okay. And I just be up, my mind be racing. Mm. Melodies come, man. Melodies come and go, man. My head all the time, so. Really? Yeah. Do you produce as well or no? Uh-uh, no. No? Okay. I mean, to the engineers, I don't know. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I yeah. would love to learn, but, like, I'm like, if somebody's good at it, I'll, I'm going to let them stick. Right, it. right, right. Of course, of course. I know you mentioned that, you know, like, how unique and different you are, right? And I'm going to keep it a stack with you right now. Like, I feel like so many artists say that, right? Yeah. So I want to know, what makes you stand out from everyone else, musically? I mean, I, from what I've been hearing, like, from a lot of my peers and stuff, you know, a lot of people be capping in their rap, man. <laughs> a lot of people be saying stuff that's like, I'm like, okay. Like, okay. You don't got a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Some yeah, people yeah, be saying yeah. stuff. I'm like, I would say me, like, Anybody that knows me, if you hear anything, I don't made. <laughs> so everything you yeah. you sing is like really. Yeah, yeah, it's some stuff that I went through. It's, it's real. So, I guess that, that's what I don't know that really much. You know, I said it'll separate me from a lot of artists. Like, I mean, I, obviously the experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So speaking about the experience, then, because I know you. Sh- me doing some research, I, I saw that you put that Profit is one of your realest songs that you ever written. Mm. So because you are one who writes, like, you know, what you're experiencing about, I want to know what was, why is that your realest track that you ever written? And what was your process, you know, what you was going through as you was writing that song? I was writing about this guy, uh... He was a childhood friend of mine, man. He, okay. Yeah, he ended up, like, stealing some money from me. Mm. It's like, we're not really stealing. Like, he was supposed to, like, we had a whole thing. We was going to, I was trying to help him get out of his mama crib. Okay. And I was like, bro, I could just go in an apartment. I already had my own crib. And I was just like, I look, I'm look, i looking for another spot, bro. Let's just I'm be pay half your bills. So, you know, I took the money, but he ain't never get the crib. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, yeah, you know, I was just mad. So Okay. How long did it take you to write that? Um, I don't, not that long, probably like, kind of like an hour or something. Do you have a song that you can say took you out of your comfort zone? Um, yeah, the new song that I just made called Toxic, it's about, you know, falling in love with a toxic situation, man. Mm, those are the words, bro. Yeah, like, those are the- how you supposed to get, like, you know, you just, it's just like something about it, you like it, but it's like, you know, it's bad for you, but you like it. Damn, it's toxic. But I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I like it though, you know. So how long it? So this is a new single you have out right now. No, no, it's not. Oh, it's out. not out it's yet. Not out. Okay, when out. are you planning on releasing it then? Uh, next month. Next month. Okay. Yeah. So obviously you're preparing for that. How long was that like? And like, so is it fully recorded? Yeah. Mixed and mastered, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now you're just in the process of like the promotion, the marketing, and stuff like that, and releasing it. Yeah. Ooh, okay. The fun part. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is the fun part. So do you have a particular date? I know you said next month. The 15th. I guess the day after Valentine's Day. Which makes sense. Yeah, because, you know, everybody's in love on Valentine's Day. That's but right. The, the toxic stuff happens. Because that's side chick day. That's 15th. It's yeah, side chick day? Yeah, you didn't know that? What? Yeah. It's always that. the 13th or the 15th. You know, it's side chick day, meaning, you know, like, because, you know, you have the 14. Yeah. I'm married. I don't know about this. <laughs> I heard about this. <laughs> but we're in a space right now, unfortunately, that that toxicity is like it in a sense. It shouldn't be. But, you know, it gravitates. It, people, it, people can relate to it. Yeah. So I think that would be dope. Let me ask you this, because I know your stage name. Is it your full name as well? Like your. Yeah, Micah. Okay. I actually added like two I's and two A's to it. So right, can, yeah. right. So it can stand out because it was okay. a couple other micros. Why though? I'm only asking for a reason. Yeah. The reason why I'm asking is because I noticed that when I'm trying to search you, I have to put your full name to mm. find you. So I don't know if you're, you know, like. Not enough. 
you know, yeah, but... Yeah, do is type in two I's, two A's. <laughs> nah, nah, definitely. Yeah. So what I want to know, with that being said, um, do you feel like there's a difference between who you are as an artist opposed to who you are as a person? Nah. When it comes to your personality. Nah, pretty much it's like... You are, artists. like, you. Yeah. what you see is what you get. Yeah. Right? Okay. Okay. That's how you make the, like, I feel like that's how you paint the best pictures, you know? Just putting it out there. True, true. But you, you can say that. Mm. How many people who made it and they have one persona when you see them, right? And then mm. it's like they're a whole totally different person being, you know, like... Just who they are personally, you know, and I and I say that because I've seen that, like, mm. like I've seen people like, oh my god, you know, and and then in real life, I'm like, motherfucker's a piece of shit, you know, like, <laughs> kind of like, like like Hannah Montana or something. I guess I never met Hannah Montana, but <laughs> like you know how like her real life she was Miley Cyrus. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. Yeah, but that's a yeah, fucking. She was, he said she was Hannah Montana, man. Nah, you know? that's a fact. That's definitely a fact. <laughs> no, that was, but that was that show back in the day. It had everybody in Choco. I'm sorry, <laughs> Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs> Are you planning on releasing singles for yeah. right now? Like, yeah, focusing on singles, man. Cause whole projects. I'm not gonna say it's like hard, but it's just it's easy to focus on a song at a time. Cause okay. I release videos for tracks that are on my project that I released earlier this year, and some people be like, "Man, when you drop this?" I'm like, "It's on the project," <laughs> you know. But I guess since I dropped the video for it, it kind of like brought it to life. Right. Okay. Yeah. You first did a single right, 2019, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then you did the EP, which is Win, right? And then the album? Yep. Okay. And now it, it, it's going it's gonna be singles. Yeah. Okay. How was that, though? Because I know you must be proud of yourself for the fact that you're dropping, you know, these projects, and you also released your merch, correct? Yeah. How was that? Like, how's that process, creating your, your, your merch? It's a learning experience. You know, like, you got to, once you get, like, different opinions from, like, the public, it kind of like tells you what the what you know to put out there and stuff okay. like that. Yeah. When it comes to your merch, I know you have like like crop tops, shirts, and stuff like that, right? Mm. So what about your designs? Like, are you part of that as well? Yeah, we all kind of like. It's like like I kind of think about what I like to wear. Like okay. I like to wear like a lot of stuff like plain. Like I don't like like a yeah. lot of design or letters on my shirts. Okay. So like, I try to keep it like simple and stuff like that. But some people like to have like my name on their shirts. Like mm. some females, they just be like, "Yeah, I just want to share off on." Shirt. How you feel about that? <laughs> That'd be cool, man. Especially like if I see them or something they wear. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, oh, that's yeah. Cute. <laughs> That'd be cool, man. That's what's up. So, are you like? Is it on a website? Like, where can they find your merch at? Yeah, we actually don't we have a website up. Yeah, we got a website up. Okay. Yeah, it's um. You look on the the link in my bio on Instagram or any of my social medias. Okay. It should have like the store up there or it's gonna have like a website. My okay. Website. Okay. You can get it from there. That's dope. Yeah. So as an artist, right, from North Carolina, how do you want your state to receive you? Um I would want my state to receive me, you know, with love. Okay. Like, uh, what do you mean by that? Like, so I, I want to know, like, do you want to be received like as you know one of the greatest, or like you said, with love? Mm. You know, it all depends on. With love is amazing at the end. At the end of the day, like you know, yeah. but you already know down this path. There's always the opposite of love, you know. Yeah, man, I get it. Yeah, trust me, I get it now. Like, Are you? Be, yeah, maybe some shows you like. Some people you be like, man, they be bobbing their head trying not to dance and stuff. But okay. then like, you, they come up to you after the show, be like, yo, it was hard. I'm like, why are you trying to act cool at the show then, man? Like, gotcha. You know? Gotcha. Stuff like that. But like, I would want my, I guess I want them to perceive me as, you know, somebody um, who definitely like helps lift you up, you know, gotcha. uplift your day. Right. And somebody who like doesn't. You know, when you think of me, I don't want you to think of, like, no negative, no negative situation. Gotcha. You know? Gotcha. You know, you know, it's a pretty good song, you know. Are you in a place right now where you are helping your community? Um, or is something that you want to do in the process? 
That's something I want to do in the process. Like okay. we actually thought about doing like a back to school. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Dope. Giveaway stuff like that, like book bags and throwing like a concert. Okay. As well, like but anytime I can give back to my community, I do though. Right, like, right. I'm not stingy at all. That's dope. That's dope. By the way, you speaking of a concert because I'm, I saw that you're doing your own shows, correct? Yeah. So how's that process? As a person who does shows, I know it's not easy. No, nah, no. Nah. It's not. I said the process is very, uh, it's very tedious, man. Cause it's like dealing with artists is like dealing with a whole bunch of little. Like mm. well, I can say that it's like dealing with like kids, man. Like, yeah. Sometimes they don't respond, you know. Sometimes mm-hmm. they running late, you know. It's sometimes they don't say nothing at all until the day of the show. You be right. like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, you just got you dealing with a lot of egos and stuff too. So you're actually producing like showcases, open mics, like what, like. Or is it like they're opening up for you? It's kind of like they're opening up for me, but it's like more so like showcase style, like intimate. Okay. Like I don't want to have like 20 people on the show. Okay. You know? okay. I'd rather have like at least like 10 to 5. Okay. But I'm actually in the process of doing a showcase with like more than that because I don't know. I just want to see like, uh, I want I want to see like what could happen or if I can't handle a bigger, like, you want to know what's the challenge? On the roster, yeah. Okay. I feel like I can, though. I mean, you could. I feel like you. anybody can do it's anything. It's stressful, though, man. It is. I know, like, a lot of hope, like, even the hosts that do showcases that I they talk to, you got people in your ear trying to talk, when I go up, you know, just ask you questions and stuff, man. It's, it be stressful, man. But. No, it definitely is. Because, I, I, like, when I do it, I'm constantly communicating, communicating, mm, communicating yeah. before. You know, before the show starts, you know, yeah. so everybody's different as as far as when when it comes to producing like showcases, open mics, and so on forth. Now, since you are right now keeping it more on an inti- intimate level, um, how are you going about selecting the artists to perform at your shows? Uh, I, if I see them in person, okay, I'm like, yeah, this artist, like, I like this guy, okay, or I like this person, you know. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Not about or if I hear from like, if like my team some come to me and be like, they're dope. Yeah. They yeah. Dope. Let's get them. I'm gotcha. Like, right, cool. Cause I've had some situations where like I'd had an artist come out and I thought they were gonna be like, you know, I'm like, oh, they're gonna bring a big crowd out. But then when they come bring two people, two people bro. I'm like, two bro, people. yeah. I'm like, it'd be like that. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, bro, on Instagram, <laughs> you you cap. Like I'm like, bro, you be having no man. It'd be crazy. It be like that. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm like, all right. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yo, you thinking like, you know, you got all these people, you getting thousands of likes, you come out, you come by yourself. I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you in a space where you can say like you could draw a crowd? Like. Yeah. I, I think I could draw a crowd. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I noticed that you opened up for Trinidad, um, James. Yeah. How was yeah. that? That was pretty cool. Okay. It's, Trinidad, like, everybody know, like, one or two songs from him. So mm-hmm. the other ones he was before, <laughs> everybody was just sitting there like, <laughs> yo, like, we didn't know what, what he was. He was He's a dope performer, though. He he's, did, yeah, I was he's told. He's a dope performer, man. He's definitely a different type of guy. Okay. So, like, is that the performance where you had, I think, of like, a crowd of 6,000? Or that was a separate show? Mm, that was a separate show. That was at, like, a festival gig. I forgot. What was the name of the festival? Man. Okay. What what can you say you learned yeah. from performing in a large crowd like that? What can you say you have learned as an artist? Um, definitely make sure like if you have, if you have a band, make sure that they're on time. Okay. Make sure they do sound check. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll say that. Hey, you know, when you do a crowds like that. Did you have a band? Yeah, I had a band. And you guys didn't do sound check. <laughs> no, nah, we did, man. But we still it's turned up to be a, a kind of a, a messed up good show. Like Okay. The music kinda like it went crazy, man. Like the band guy had his his monitors was old. <laughs> oh man. And it's not, yeah, they went out. It was the craziest thing ever. But we got the music back right and everything was pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I feel like every time, like, when someone pursues their dreams, right, or, like, their goals, it doesn't matter what it is, right? But, you know, you've been doing, you've been an artist for quite some time. Have you been in a place where you felt as if you was discouraged within yourself as an artist? Yeah, all the t- I feel like every artist feel like they're all the time, though. Okay. Like, that's, like, constant, you know? Okay, so what do you do to turn that 
um, that negative into a positive? Um, really, just keep. I would say just keep going. Like you know, like okay. Turning that energy into. But you never creative. got to a place where you were just like, "Yo, that's it. I'm done. I I don't even want to do this." Nah, not really. Okay, no. Yeah. Okay. I don't, know. I don't think I got to. Bless that you. Place. Bless you. Yeah, like <laughs> I feel like no, nah, I feel like if you get to that place, man, it's kind of like you like say if you out of somewhere. Okay. And I know you said you're married, but like say if you were single, you see something nice at the bar or something or anywhere. Okay. And then she walk away, you never see her again. You like, damn, I could have said something. And right. It's like, yeah, right. it's like, yo, you never said nothing or you just never kept going. You never tried. So. That's true. I mean, at the end of the day, take that risk. Yeah, I feel like if you don't take the risk. You know, life is about risk, though. It definitely you is. Know, yeah, you take a risk stepping out your door. So like. Um, I want to ask you one of my infamous questions. Um, and that would be, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Um, when the last time I did something for the first time? Mm. Was something like nasty or something? <laughs> like, <laughs> you could talk about whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Just something, the first time you ever did something. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Doesn't matter what the hell it is. You want to say something nasty? I yeah, mean, the I ladies know. will probably love it. I don't know. It's up to you. I think, the, man, I don't know. The only thing that keep coming to my head right now is like, I got my ass ate for the first time. Okay. Okay. That, yeah. That was like, that was shit was crazy, man. Like it was, but it was nothing like I would want to like I, I would ask a girl to do. But okay. if that's what she want, I'm like, man, all right. You open you know? to it. Yeah, it was kind of it was kind of okay. like weird though. It was like, all right. She this, ate it like groceries, bro. She she was like moaning while she did it. She enjoyed it. She like, enjoyed I was, it. Okay. I think okay. I was more turned on by her her passion for it. Like, right, 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 <laughs> yeah, right, right, like, right. She's very passionate about this. Like, no, I, I like, love this, right? Because yeah. I always told. Listen, I always feel like if you're if I'm gonna, because I've I've eaten ass and vice versa, right? I'm gonna keep it a stack right now. Say, yeah. Yo, that shit's amazing. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not it even want to knock it. Yeah, it was just, it was different, you know. I'm like, but I right. feel like for me, everybody's different. I feel like in order to do something like that, you gotta be like wifey or like somebody that I'm, I'm really vibing with because that's really yeah, intimate. Yeah, for me, you're right. you know? Yeah, that's that is a sacred space, you know. Like it is. It took you know like. Probably like a year of trying to convince, like, Mike, let me just do it, let me just do it. I'm like, man, <laughs> oh man, you know, she got me, man. Congratulations on your ass being eaten, yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> right here, right here. That motherfucker teleport, man. <laughs> that's ain't no joke. Oh, that teleport is no joke. Yeah, I'm telling you. That, that's, that's like that's, the I'm E and J wine. of wine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking it's regular wine, man. That's that's for a local wine. <laughs> nah, it definitely is, yo. <laughs> nah, definitely, yo. Um. So, I, lastly, I want to know, like, what are we expecting from you? I know you say you're dropping the single, right? Um, are we expecting visuals for that? Mm, yes. Are we expecting, like, a tour? Like, what are we, you know, I want to know more or less what you're doing moving forward. Because it's a whole new year right now. Yeah, so. I say this year I've been doing a lot more out of town So Okay. Yeah, I'm here in New York now, so. Right, right, right. Yeah, man, you know, you get used to, like, a certain area, you'd be like, you know, I want to venture out. Okay. Try something And different. you said you performed in New York before, right? Yeah, yeah. A while ago, man. It was around the time when I dropped that first, my first song. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so it was like right before the pandemic, like around 2019. New York was, it was outside. This was nah, like, the definition yeah. of outside. Like, they everybody was. was outside. How many other places have you performed outside of North Carolina? Uh, along the East Coast. I didn't, I have did D.C. before. I've did Florida. D.C. is dope. DC is it's just very crazy. Nice. You need a but you know, you need a vest and shit. Yo, it's you would think it's like better, you know. <laughs> nah, yeah, you would nah. think it's like a lot safer. You know, the president stays here, but right, right. DC is rough, man. It is rough. DC is rough. I'm like, okay. Well, um, again, thank you for your time. Yes, thank you for having me. It nah, was, was definitely. Um where can they find you? I know you said you have a website. Yes. Where can they find your website? Where can they find your music? All you that good stuff. On, Follow you. Yeah, on Instagram at Micah, M-I-I-C-A-A-H. It's the real Micah Evans, but if you just type it in, M-I-I-C-A-A-H, yeah, I'll be the first one to pop up. There's nobody else got their name spelled like that, you know? Yeah, man.
already know the vibes. There shouldn't be a reason why you shouldn't be following him. All his information will be in the description box below. Y'all already know, man. It's your girl, V Henny, the artistry. Rock out with your cocks out. Jam up with your clam out. <laughs> Peace. All right, so. The, the, the artistry. Catches on YouTube, Facebook, or outlets. Follow us.